It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. And in this video, we're going to talk a little about the currencies that we need to take a closer look at for this uh, Titans and Turn of the Elements update. There's a couple of things that I want to talk about in this big wall of text, but mostly I'm not going to just read it to you. You guys are smart enough to understand how to read and what matters here. I just kind of want to talk about the four or five currencies that are going to matter. Now, this is going to go into effect next week and the timing is a little curious in my opinion we do have an active clash of worlds season right now i think that um it should go active after this season not in the middle of this season it's going to be interesting to see how that's going to shake up the last 50 days the last uh you know almost two months of this clash of worlds season considering that you know you do have titan offense and defense in this league totems do matter all the levels and all of that do matter and uh, we do have this change down here two nice changes the raid functionality for toe and the power calculations for the tournament elements are going to get fixed there's a lot of people that are getting stuck in low levels of the tournament of the elements because they come up against like they're in the second phase let's just skip this one right here they're on phase two or stage two or whatever and they run into a maxed totem that is somehow not a, you know calculated into the power level so people are getting stuck there on a given day i'm glad to see that's being fixed and of course being able to raid all the way up is is a very nice change also now taking a look at this thing there are some pretty controversial things that are happening here and uh, just chatting on the official Discord for a little while, have a very lively debate on the, the news discussion channel over on the official Hero Wars Dominion Era Discord. Uh, a lot of people are replying to me right now, but I'm recording a video, so we'll get back to that in just a little bit. There are some people that are upset about this, and anytime you add things to the game, people are going to be upset, people are going to quit, people are going to stop spending. There's going to be a whole variety of things that are going to happen because of this. Uh, people are uh, claiming that this should have been tested, that maybe this should have been uh, shared with the public to get kind of a temperature gauge to feel like if we really wanted this. And the fact of the matter is, it, they're always going to add stuff. They're always going to add more. And you take a look at, you know, your Titan and your Titan Totem teams. Like level 120 is the max Totem level. The uh, the max Artifact level is 120. The max Titan level is 120. And then you compare and contrast that with the pets, which are level 130 max. Uh, the heroes, which are level 130 uh, max, right? And the hero artifacts that were recently, I think like last year, whenever it was, brought up to level 130. Things like this are going to happen. They're going to find small ways to add spending. And that's just the nature of the game. It's a, they call it a gotcha game. They just add more ways to spend. Players at the top get bored and stop spending. So they need a way to get, keep those spending players spending. So in all of this announcement, there are five currencies that actually matter. One is going to be the most important of all of them, but most of them are pretty plentiful. Um, some of them are impossible to get for the average player. Let's talk about them each in turn. Titan XP potions. I've got a lot of them. Every time that I click on the merchant, I'm, I feel like I'm converting a ton. I've got most of my Titans leveled up to 120. The Titans that I don't have, I'm saving them for special events, you know, events where they ask you to level up your Titans. I've got, you know, 43,000 potions, but I could have a lot more, right? Whenever you have absolute star Titans and you get Titan soul stones, which I usually get a bunch every day just by playing the game, you go into the merchant, you convert them, you get Titan XP potions, boom, you level up your Titans. That's a very low, low quality resource that matters now or will matter i suppose and uh, you're gonna have to focus on specific titans now you know uh, as you saw i have a lot of my titans leveled up and uh, i'm gonna have to go back and focus hmm, well there we go i'm gonna have to go back and focus on the titans that matter to me and my team the earth teams the you know the solaris uh, Tenebris, Rigel. There's a specific few Titans that I'm going to have to really worry on. And all of that's well and good, but that's not going to be the big resource that matters. The big resource that matters is the gift of the elements, okay? The sparks of power, I should say. I have around 35 of my heroes. Gift of the elements maxed out. I'm not quite to the end yet. Okay, there we go. Here-ish is about where I'm at. About 35, 36 heroes maxed out. And uh, the Gift of the Elements requires Sparks of Power. You get Sparks of Power from a lot of places. You get them from uh, leveling up basically anything to do with a Titan. Leveling up a Titan's level, leveling up a Titan's skin, artifacts, evolving a Titan, evolving a Titan's artifact, uh, leveling up a totem, evolving the totem. All of those things give you Sparks of Power. But you can also get them from the... Uh, from the uh, Titan Merchant here, the, the Titan Soul Coin Merchant. And this is going to be the first big problem that a lot of people are going to run into. Uh, you're going to have to get the Sparks of Power 
right? And this right here is by far the best way to get Sparks of Power, right? Just the sheer quantity of Titan Soul Stones that you get at high levels when you have max Titans. I know that's a high level player's problem. I understand that. But this is going to be the, the best place to get Sparks of Power. You use Sparks of Power to level up the Gift of the Elements. The more heroes that you have at max Gift of the Elements, you get plus one effective level for everything, for here, uh, for the Titan level, for the Titan artifacts level, and for the uh, for the totems level. And then you're going to need Titan potions and all of that to level those things up. That's kind of a big deal, right? And this is going to be kind of the main place. But like I said, leveling up any of these Titans, right, as you increase the effective level to 130 all the way up to level 193 or whatever it is, 194 with Winterfest, leveling up the Titans and the Titans artifacts just passively every day, getting the... Uh, uh, essence of the elements from the tournament of the elements uh, activity that's all going to give you a lot of sparks of power way more than what you have access to now if you are level 120 and you've been leveling up a couple of titans at a time it's going to give you access to more you're just going to have more stuff to level whether or not you have the ability to level those things up that's a different question altogether now the big problem that i think that we're going to have and this is something that i haven't seen discussed a lot but i think that it is discussed uh, enough that it that you know it should warrant some additional discussion and i'm hoping that there is a new system coming in that's going to make this easier or not as punishing. The way that Titan totem leveling works is you start off with bronze trophies, then you need silver trophies to level them up, then you need gold Guild War trophies to level them up even further. The light and darkness trophies require Clash of the Elements, I'm sorry, Clash of Worlds, Clash of the Elements, Clash of Worlds trophies to level up. And those additional levels, level 120 all the way up to level 193, these totems are going to require just such a large quantity of these trophies the artifacts the same situation it's going to require such a large quantity of artifacts the uh, essence of the elements to level these up that we you know we gotta we gotta imagine possibly a new currency being added and how that new currency is added and how to collect more of that currency it's a big question but you got to take a look at the way that you level Titans for the average player, bronze, silver, and gold Guild War trophies. Well, there's only eight guilds that can be in gold on a server, right? However many servers there are. There are only eight guilds that can be in silver, or maybe it's 10, I don't even know. So you have 16-ish guilds on a server that can get silver Guild War trophies. And then, of course, everybody can be in bronze. I think everybody can be in bronze, or maybe it's only 10. I can't even remember about that. It's been so long since I've been in bronze. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. The leveling of the totems is going to get even more difficult as you get you know, you start dealing with higher and higher totems because the higher teams are going to have stronger totems, which are going to gatekeep lower, weaker guilds out of the higher guild or rankings. But, you know, this is a pay to win game. And in a lot of ways, that's just kind of how the game is built. So should they have sent out a survey and asked us if this is a change that we want? I don't know. Did I plan on this happening? I think a lot of people did. I think that uh, if the change goes into effect next week as planned, or if the change goes into effect six months from now, or at the end of the Clash of Worlds season, would I change any of my daily spending or playtime habits? I don't know that I would. Maybe I would. Maybe I would start stockpiling some things so that I would have them available. I don't I don't really know. But uh, Sparks of Power, like I said, start start saving them up. You know, it, you have the prestige reward every single day. Obtain Sparks of Power. The act of obtaining them, you can't reset your Gift of the Elements anymore to cheat this one you got to do things to start stacking these sparks of power every day because it's gonna it's gonna be really what matters you know again the things that you're gonna need you're gonna need titan xp potions sparks of power uh, essence of the elements to level up your uh, titan artifacts guild war trophies of all different colors to level up your totems and then clash of worlds trophies to level up the light and darkness totems so yeah a lot of people are upset about this uh, very few people i've seen are very happy about this I think that it is unfortunately just a natural progression of the game. I am happy to see that they are bundling this with a quality of life update here and there, but you know, whatever. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Are you mad? Are you happy? Probably most of you are mad. <laughs> I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.